Welcome back, builders. Right on brand with Anomaly, we got a, another preview, or the first preview, to drop late last night. And I wanted to take a quick look at it here. If you're worried about spoilers, I'm going to talk just a little bit about the top here. They do give us a spoiler warning. I will say and show on screen before I go down in case you don't want to see any of that. Preview number one, Flesh Beasts, Flesh Mass Heart, Pit Gate, and Dreadmeld. The flesh is willing. And we have a nice banner up here, similar to what we already saw in the announcement. We can see that there's a flesh beast spreading around. We can see that they've built some containment facility type things here. We've got what looks to be new attachables that go into that. Those are probably helping you research it. Maybe this is like an alarm light possibly. We can see that there's some stuff running around the base. Quite a lot going on here. I don't think I recognize this machine here. So lots of new things that we can see just from that little banner at the top. If you were one of the people that figured correctly that there was no way that these would start without some kind of event notice, you are half right. So in their first example here, the Flesh Beasts, you intercept a distress signal from a nearby camp. The frantic voice begs you to save them from something horrible and offers everything at their camp in return, including shards of dark Arco technology. As the voice tries to explain what's happening, the signal goes dead. If you choose to help the poor soul, assemble your caravan and come well armed. So this is in line with what I think most of us were expecting, that there'd be some kind of event. You can choose whether you're going to interact with it or not. And if you don't, then you would be left alone. So if that was your main concern, I think you're halfway there. And we're going to have to move down into spoiler territory in order to see why I'm not 100% convinced that you will still be left alone if you choose to be left alone. And you may need to disable the content if you don't want it in your run. So at the top here, they talk about there's many different threats. Some of them are mysterious and attractive, like the delightful golden cube. Others are insidious and progressive, like the metal horror infestations. Finally, there are some that are direct and aggressive, and that's what this blog covers. Okay, I'm going to go down. So this is your spoiler warning. If you just wanted to get a light little taste of what they were saying, that is it. Now we're going to go into some more details here. Following the distress signal, you basically go to another colony that's been overrun by flesh beasts. You can try to wipe them out and salvage what you can. There are flesh bulbs which are going to light up the area, so there's going to be light even if you arrive at night. There are flesh sacks which are basically digesting definitely people, but maybe people and other things. And those are kind of like loot chests that they can't digest things that are not organic, so maybe you could find weapons or psi, psi implants, things like that. So those are kind of your goody things. And then there's a flesh mass heart, which is kind of like the, the heart of the whole creature that's up here. And you'll have to try to fight it. And while you're fighting it, it's regening faster than you can hurt it. But you can pick up samples of their nervous system, which we can take back and study to try to figure out how to actually kill it. The flesh mass, beyond just having creatures that can run around, also has little towers that can help defend itself. So we have spitters. So right here, I think this is what that is. And it looks like it's spitting maybe acid out and it's hitting different people. These kind of remind me of the towers from Factorio, where as you're assaulting the alien base, they would have towers that would spit back at you. So definitely going to have to have some firepower here to be able to take those out and reach the heart or anything else you're doing. Then they give three examples of different types of mobile threats. They have the tough spikes, the tri spikes, and the finger spikes. So they're running around with um, carapaces, and they've got these spikes that they grow and throw at you. So it looks like they are ranged threats. And it sounds like as you're fighting them, they can actually break apart, and the individual parts can still try to attack you. So pretty gross. Pretty That can be pretty dangerous. RimWorld if you get outnumbered, it becomes much harder than it is in a fight where you outnumber the enemy or even you're on even footing. Going through all that, you clear that out, you get some loot, hooray, yay. However, then we have part two here where it talks about the pit gate. 
So key here is another time the ground might shake with a different result. So this sounds more like an event going off at your base rather than a quest that you can choose to interact with. A large part of terrain starts sinking into the depths, forming a deepening hole much wider than before. Inhuman shrieks rise from the depths. It's best to move your colonist buildings and items away from the emergence point. Man, I can already tell you how annoyed I'm going to be when this inevitably pops up in the middle of my base. Uh, there's a game called Amazing Cultivation Simulator, and there's a similar mechanic where a dragon cave spawns. And I kid you not, it always comes up in the one place in my base that I don't want destroyed. It's like magic that that always happens to me. So if you're an unlucky person like me, prepare for pain. <laughs> That's all I have to say about that. Within a day, the floor will vanish from sight into the depths where the flesh mass heart came from. The pit gate has formed and will remain open until you collapse it, occasionally releasing foes. The interesting thing here, though, is to close your gate, the colonists must descend into it. Underground is all flesh, having infested a massive cave system. The tunnels are so crammed with biomass that it's supporting the ceiling and walls, making it thoroughly unstable. Defeat the motive force and the flesh mass and the tunnels should collapse. So what's really interesting to me here is we have essentially a portal on our own map that goes to another map. And I believe this was talked about somewhere in the patch notes that they can generate maps more or better than they could before. So before those would be like encounter maps while you're traveling on the world map. But this really made my mind kind of wander at the implications for being able to mod that you could have a portal on map that goes and generates another map or I'm hoping could be connected to another permanent map. So I'm thinking things like you could have magical dimensions, you could have a spaceship that you teleport up to that might help certain mods that are very popular. So that's a piece of game tech that I'm really, really interested in and hopefully will be very useful for modders. I could see some really cool stuff coming out of that. Back into the actual pit. The motive force is housed in a, housed in a dread meld, a mammoth leader creature made up of dozens of smaller flesh beasts and buried in inside the stinking flesh. The psychic connection to the flesh mass filling the cavern is strong, so strong that killing the dread meld will destabilize the whole organism. If you manage to take down the flesh mama, grab what you can particularly the strange Arcotech shards that it drops, and flee before it collapses and buries you all. And they say there's more to come. We will get it, be getting some more previews here. Per, a couple interesting things here. So I think no one is going to be surprised that there's new buildable things for our base. We got some more previews of what looks to be maybe linkables, and there's some kind of special crafting bench here. We did get the event that will trigger DLC content. However... It does also sound like the second event is more like just a random event that happens on your map. So day one Randy flesh pit, here we go, I guess. That'll be fun. Yeah, I think it's pretty much in line with what most people thought. I'm a little surprised about this second one. I honestly was all in on there's no way that these things will happen unless you trigger it. And, and maybe this does have one. Maybe you have to go investigate the sound or something to make this actually take place. So I know the comments in my first video were, I'd say, mostly positive about the DLC. Uh, most people were really looking forward to it. A lot of people had the same reservations I had about, man, I hope that it just it's something you can choose to trigger or not. I, I don't want to get into a situation where I have to turn off the DLC because sometimes your plans change while you're playing and the story moves in a different direction and I do want to engage with the Empire or whatever the, the case may be. So hopefully this gives us a little bit more information. I was hoping for a little bit more on the mechanical side of the, the DLC rather than just the narrative threat side. But that's, that's perfectly fine. I think that this is a decent one. I hope we get several of these. Uh, they say that they're going to be posting these blogs up to release, which is in three weeks. I hope they do more than one a week. I, ho I hope we don't just get four, three or four previews. I hope we get a couple more. I'd like to know more about these dark shards of Arco technology. Those do seem to be the thing that we're probably going to collect as the resource that we use to make the special, I don't know, SCP technology that we're going to be using. So quite, quite interesting. So I'd be curious again to see what people are thinking. Did this make your mind at ease? Did it 
not make your mind at ease and make you even more worried about the DLC, let's uh, keep the conversation going down below and I will try to keep covering these if, as long as there's still some interest there and I'll hopefully put out some content when the DLC goes out. Yeah, I think it's going to be definitely going to be a good fun for at least a few runs, even if it ends up being something that people turn off in the end. All right, take care, and I will see you in the next one, builders.